Hi, I'm uh, Giorgio from uh, ingdemurtas.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use and uh, connect the control system for solar trackers called uh, Mini Track, uh, which I recently developed. So, the system uh, consists of um, this uh, sunlight direction sensor, which is connected to this uh, control board that will read the sensor and decide when to turn on and off the, the motors that are connected here. Uh, the sensor I make it with a cable that is about 2 or 3 meters long and uh, is a regular uh, Cat5 cable used for Ethernet with uh, RJ45 uh, connectors so if you need to have a longer cable you can extend it using another uh, Cat5 cable and the, the connectors. Uh, the sensor you need to mount it on the moving part of the solar trackers. Uh, I would generally put this uh, on the top side of the solar tracker so that uh, it's less likely that it's um, influenced by shadows of uh, nearby objects or other solar trackers. But uh, in principle, as long as this uh, front face is parallel to your solar panels is, um, and, and the cable goes out from the bottom side of the sensor then uh, you are good to go. Uh, for the demonstration here I will um, I will simulate the, the sunlight using this uh, LED lamp put on one side of the sensor so if the light is coming like this it's coming from the east so the tracker will will need to move towards east to to be in line with the sun. So the power can be connected either to this um, uh, cylindrical connector here or to these uh, two uh, screws and uh, the azimuth motor so for the movement east-west is attached to these uh, two screws here and uh, the tilt motor for the up-down movement is connected here. Then as an optional you can also connect a cap anemometer on the first uh, two screws here and here is, is an input that is not uh, currently used. Uh, with this uh, trimmer you can um, tune the contrast of the display and uh, with the switch on the top here you can switch on the, the backlight. Let's talk about the display. On the, on the top left you have uh, the status. Uh, then on the, on the second line of the display you have a variable message. Now it's showing the wind speed. Um, on the top right uh, it shows you the status of the motors. And here it shows you the status of the light direction. For example, if I switch on the, the light now, so the sun, the light coming from the east of the sensor, the sensor will see it. It shows east, and, uh, and then it will also switch on the output to move the uh, azimuth motor to the east. So the tracker will move towards east, and once uh, the sensor is in line, with the light, the motor will go off. And um, so normally during the day the, the sun is actually going to the west side, so it will make uh, several small adjustments and the, your panels will always stay perpendicular to the sunlight. Uh, when it's in, uh, in the status of track, you can see uh, here the wind speed, but you have also access to several other information like the tilt sensor measurements, the azimuth sensor, the, sun, the light measurement. For example, if I cover the sensor with my hand, the, the signal goes down, see? And um, um, this uh, tilt pause and azimuth pause is a time that the uh, system will wait uh, from uh, when a motor is turned off, it needs to stay off as, uh, a certain time before it can turn on again. And these are all times you, you can change in the, in the settings menu I'm going to show you. Um, so let's go into the settings menu. Uh, to enter in the settings menu, we first uh, press the manual button to put the system into manual mode. Then we hold down the manual button and we enter the settings menu. With the up-down arrows, uh, we can navigate through the different settings, and with the left-right uh, arrows, we, we can change that specific setting. For example, this uh, tracking period, how often the tracker should move, 65 seconds, let's say. 
uh, and if you if you want to put a big number you just hold down the button and the number will uh, auto increment so it's pretty comfortable um, then you can set uh, the maximum wind speed so when the wind speed exceeds this value uh, the the system will go into the high wind uh, mode which means that uh, it will command the tilt motor to go all the way up uh, to horizontal and uh, it will exit the um, wind alarm status uh, after this uh, time 60 minutes you, you can change it uh, to other it needs to be uh, the wind speed needs to be below the threshold and this time must be elapsed as well uh, then on threshold is um, how sensitive should the, the, the tracker be if you reduce this threshold you, you make it more sensitive uh, however um, it's, um, it's very precise already with the 200-300 value for this uh, parameter I mean like uh, it, it will be around one degree accuracy in following the sun or, or better depending on how, how intense is the sun uh, the sunset light is um, when the when the light um, when the diffuse light goes below this value then uh, the system will enter the sunset status and then go into the night status during the sunset it will make uh, some um, preset uh, movements uh, with a timer uh, to position the tracker in a specific position for example this sunset delay is a delay that will uh, where the tracker will wait after the the sunset you may you may want to have a delay just to keep the tracker facing west for example when the until it's completely dark and uh, and then uh, the the tilt after sunset will go up for 300 seconds you may want to park the tracker horizontally during night and and then you want also a tracker to go east so it's ready in the morning the day after and you can change these uh, times um, if you want uh, the, the tracker at sunset to go west instead what you do is uh, you bring down this value all the way to zero zero seconds would mean that uh, there is no sunset azimuth movement and um, like this and then you continue on that direction and it will uh, change you, you see the text to west it was east all right um, then the next one is the sunrise tilt down because if your tracker is a horizontal at night you may want in the morning to give it some slope and, uh, and then the sensor will uh, will see the sun and do the rest and uh, align it correctly sunrise azimuth you may want to move the tracker from uh, west to east uh, uh, in the morning rather than in the evening then you give it uh, some uh, time here go east a uh, uh, certain amount of time or we'll see here and just messing up um, anemometer m this is a calibration coefficient for uh, the anemometer that will turn the the frequency into meter per seconds it depends on the characteristics of the anemometer this is good for the one uh, I, I offer and, and then uh, this uh, your limit east is um, the angle the azimuth angle that the tracker is facing when uh, is uh, touching on the east uh, limit switch um, in this controller there is a, a special feature that will preposition the, the trackers the tracker during the, the day even when it's cloudy so when it's completely overcast and uh, the sensor cannot see the sun but the, the tracker will, uh, will do some uh, movements based on uh, timers and uh, it needs to know what is the starting position so when the tracker is uh, all the way to east and touching the limit switch this, in this case I've said 50 degrees is the position of the limit switch from north so zero is uh, zero degrees is north then we go clockwise so 90 degrees is east and 180 degrees is uh, south and uh, we you need also need to set uh, the position of the 
west limit switch and uh, you need also to set the how much time it takes for the yaw motor to go all the way from the east limit switch to the west limit switch if you don't want to use this um, function of the preposition you simply put this time to, to zero and you also need to know that uh, this prepositioning only works uh, on the second day the system has been uh, in operation because the first day is used to observe the, the weather and determine some uh, uh, coefficients that are used in the, in the calculations uh, and uh, your tolerance is um, how precise you want the prepositioning to be uh, 20 degrees is, a, is already very precise in my opinion because when it's cloudy there is really no need to to any smaller than that and uh, if you want to mount the sensor upside down or or you have some mirror so you're doing some weird things you have the option here to invert the signal for the uh, tilt sensor you can invert or and also for the azimuth sensor if uh, for some reason you want to mount it upside down but and uh, and uh, that's it to save these uh, changes you hold down the auto button and uh, it will save into the eprom and uh, and bring you back to the home page put it back in automatic and uh, show the wind speed well I, I hope you liked this video you found it uh, interesting and uh, instructive um, I'm selling this uh, product on uh, on my website uh, inseguitoresolare.it it's currently in Italian I will uh, sooner or later make also an uh, an English version for the international customers uh, but uh, until then you are welcome to visit uh, ingdemurtas.com and uh, to write me uh, emails or comments in the video uh, thanks for watching